Hi, my name is Bright Minfo from Houston Methodist and in this video I'm going to present a case of an inside-out central venous catheter placement through an occluded stent. These are my disclosures for this presentation. So the patient was a 76-year-old male with a history of end-stage renal disease on dialysis for seven years. He presented with a right brachycephalic fistula malfunction with severe upper extremity edema. This was due to a central venous stent occlusion. A prior attempt at recognition had failed, and the patient now required a TDC placement was brought into the OR for an inside-out uh, technique using the surface of the device. This is a preoperative CD venogram. On the axial view, we see the defect in the opacification of the stand in the brachycephalic vein on the right. And in the coronal view, the stand appears crushed here in the costal clavicular space. So rather than relining it, the plan was to go through it with um, TDC and subsequently configure a herograph to connect the ABF and relieve the edema. So this is the surface of catheter system that we used. It is It has been designed to achieve a right-sided central venous recognition for catheter placement. Now the device comes with a temp French sheet called a workstation. The device itself which has a shaft of 7 French and an 18 French pillable introduce a sheet as well as a radio pack exit target for the skin. So as you can see here the device has a tapered tip which is a bit blunted and we have this stylet coming out with a needle wire and this needle wire can be set to the correct angle using the blue knob over here. The handle of the device also has a locking system here for locking the guide wire. We started off the procedure by bilateral groin axis and got 12 French sheet in the right groin and got Y axis up to the stand after which the workstation sheet was advanced to engage the stand. At this point we showed an angiogram to delineate the anatomy of the lesion and prepare to bring in the device. So here is the device going through the right groin. It's rigid metal which can only be advanced in a straight line. It's not steerable. And here we see the 12 French reinforced sheet. The device is going through that and it's now within the um, workstation sheet and going all the way up to the level of the occlusion. At this point, we obtain a Combium CD angiography. This is a protocol we use in our institution for all surface procedures. Contrast is flashed through the left groin here, and it is timed for opacification of the aortic arch and supraortic vessels. Next, we spend some time to analyze multiplane and reconstruction of the Combium CD. The projected trajectory of the device through the supraclavicular space is depicted by the red dot we see here on the axial view. And we're trying to make sure this red dot is not going through any major arterial or respiratory structures. That is to say, further advancement of the device is not going to lead to any major injuries. And when this is confirmed, we proceed to do so. So we place the exit target here on the skin and the device is going to be advanced cephalad and a 2D 3D fusion overlay towards the interstice of the stent. Next, we align the tip of the device with the exit target by uh, performing optimal position of the C-arm and then the needle guide wire set at the correct angle, advanced through the skin, grabbed forceps, and pulled all the way to establish a through and through axis. We then brought in a 6 French introducer sheet over the externalized wire. This 6 French sheet is going to be pulled into the SVC by locking it, uh, the guide wire onto the device and pulling on it. We then obtain a pullback venogram to ensure that we will intravenous. The next step was to dilate the truck, which has just been created through the struts of the stent. So a six millimeter balloon is going to be brought in over the second guide wire you see in here. And this balloon is going to be inflated to dilate the truck through the stent. 
Once the truck has been dilated, we are now ready to bring in a catheter, which has been internalized under the skin here. And of course, we're going to bring in the pillable and introduce a sheet over the externalized wire. So this sheet is also going to be pulled into the SVC, just as we did with the 6 French sheet. Once it's in place, uh, we take out the guide wire and insert the catheter. We then peel away the sheet to reveal the catheter, which is now being advanced further into the SVC. We're almost at the end of our procedure. So this is the final image at the end of the procedure showing the catheter is well in place. The tip of the catheter is in the right atrium SBC junction and it's coming through the struts of the stem. Thank you.